All right, long time no talk. I've been gone for a couple weeks. Um, I'm going to be addressing that at the end of the video, just kind of holiday stuff. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be talking about World War III, and is it the battlefield killer that it's touted to be? I've heard a lot of talk about it, especially in-game. People kind of type that they want the old battlefield back. And I'm going to go over a couple things that I think World War III does well, some things it doesn't do as well, and just kind of the developer in, in general. So let's get right into it. So as I'm putting this video together and everything and listening to my audio back, I realize I don't think studios should aim to create the Battlefield feel and how Battlefield is exactly. I know that a lot of people would be happy about that, but I think creating a really good game that does Battlefield things, large map, vehicles, things that battlefield players like is going to be key. I don't I don't think my points about it feeling like battlefield are really that they, they don't matter that much because a game shouldn't try to replicate what another studio is doing. They they're doing really well, I feel like for what the game is. So, I just wanted to throw that in there before I really jump into everything. Keep that in mind. I don't think the game should be exactly like battlefield. So, I think the game is really good. But I don't think it's going to replace Battlefield. Really, it depends on what DICE decides for the next game. If it's going to be the same with Specialists and everything. Or if they're going to kind of revert back to old Battlefield. I think that's going to be the biggest factor for if another developer or another studio can come out and create a game that is going to, quote, kill Battlefield. So my short and simple answer to is it a Battlefield killer is no. I guess in a traditional sense, if you're really longing for what Battlefield was in Battlefield 5 and previous games, it could potentially be maybe the developers. I don't think this specific game is just because it's still in development. It's in a beta mode right now. I don't know when they plan on releasing it in alpha when it's supposed to be done. But I will say the customization of the guns is way better in my opinion. The amount of options you have to, I don't know, make your gun fit your playstyle are far better than anything Battlefield has offered in my opinion. And of course there's no specialist or anything like that. Your character doesn't do anything any differently. You can build your class however you want. You can have classes that maybe for pistol ammo or like intermediate rounds as they call them, you have more damage you can take so your armor is better, but at the cost of mobility you don't run as fast your character is not as mobile obviously and the game is boots on the ground for the most part there are vehicles which do get kind of annoying it seems that a lot of people don't run rpgs or anti-tank setups as much just because what gun you would want to use and the weight limit you have to stay under to be able to equip an rpg is so low like I can't even use the assault rifle with the armor that I like and equip an RPG so that's not the best I don't think it's a deal breaker for me for the game though and I will say the game overall for right now $12 with talks of it being free to play in March it is definitely a, a game you should buy but I will warn you it is pretty grindy to get the levels for the attachments and just everything on your class I have been playing, I'm like three hours in, maybe, I th six hours in, actually, and I am level 12. So it is really slow progression, but it is a fun game to play, especially with friends. It doesn't really give me Battlefield vibes, necessarily. It gives me more Escape from Tarkov feel, the running. Um, that's one thing, the, the engine. I know it's not as big of a studio as DICE is, so... It is going to be lacking in some areas of that. But the movement in the game just feels kind of clunky, kind of weird sometimes. And I know that could be smoothed out maybe in their next game or potentially this game before it's released in alpha. But the overall feel of the game isn't Battlefield. I will say like the large map and vehicles does have a Battlefield kind of vibe. But I think it really ends there. The gun kind of mechanics and everything don't remind me of Battlefield much, although I don't know how different you can get with a first person shooter. To me it's more like Escape from Tarkov and Siege because you can lean in the game which is a cool mechanic. It takes some getting used to, I will say, like when you can just lean whenever you want. 
But to me, it's like Squad, if you have ever played Squad, which I know many Battlefield players have at least heard of it, since the game did derive from um, different servers offering realistic milsim games on Battlefield. So it is a lot like Squad with not the, the time to kill and the HUD and everything like that. So it's like Squad with HUD, a little bit longer time to kill, armor, things like that. And in my opinion, I know Battlefield right now isn't in the best state, especially when you're paying um, as little as 60 and as much as 120 like myself for the game. It is kind of disappointing to see some things that you would assume are really easy fixes. I don't speak much on the shortcomings of Battlefield just because I don't really know what's all gone into it, what the deadline was for them, if they could have extended it, anything like that. But I do think it is kind of sucky for everybody that you pay this much for a game and you're hoping it's going to be way better than it is currently. And I think that's where World War III excels. The game is $12, like I said, or free to play in March. And the only real big issue I'll say right now is audio sometimes gets so frustrating because you like randomly you won't have gun audio or you won't have footstep audio you can't hear tanks rolling up on you sometimes you'll have no audio at all and those are really huge issues and I think for a first person shooter that is almost a deal breaker for me not quite but still I think for the price of the game that's not that big of a deal, especially compared to Battlefield where there are way more bugs, way way more consistent bugs and glitches and things like that that you have to deal with for a much higher price. I think World War III could be a killer in that aspect, but in terms of replacing Battlefield as like a large map first-person shooter game with vehicles, I don't think so, not this game. I do think the developers in the future if they decide to keep releasing games like this could be because I don't see Battlefield going back to not having specialists. Um, they have said that they want to create a Battlefield universe around that kind of idea and I think for the community that's not going to work that well. Although I do enjoy it, I know that there is going to be kind of this longing for a like a previous Battlefield style game where you don't have specialists, you can't be grappling around or flying around on a wingsuit or anything like that. So in a roundabout way, this has all been, no, World War III is not the current Battlefield killer. I don't think that the game is that good. Like, it's a really good game. It's not a bad game for sure, but I don't think right now it's that good to completely replace Battlefield. I don't think that the next Battlefield that comes out, it's going to be bigger than that one and just completely sweep that one off the ground even the next game they make but i do think the current direction that the developers i forget the name of the developer i can have it in the description if it's that big of a deal to you but i think the developers in the future could be battlefield killers the developer can be the killer of battlefield dice but just comparing the two personally i like battlefield 2042 because of the refined um, like movement mechanics I feel like I feel like everything's a little smoother which is to be expected from a, a bigger studio like DICE and of course these are things that can be fixed and the developers of World War 3 can implement into this game or the next one but I am excited to see the future of games like this as Battlefield seems to be getting worse and worse reputation as time has gone on and it hasn't been fixed anyways I know I haven't uploaded in a minute it's been <laughs> probably over a month maybe three weeks um, so December 9th, I ended up getting married, um, not ended up as in just kind of randomly there, um, planned. I did plan to have a video out prior to then, but I really underestimated the amount of things I would have to do leading up to the wedding. So I wasn't able to get one out. And then I went on a honeymoon, which was great by the way. And then after that, of course, just the holidays and having a family, you know, two parents, two, two sets of parents, divorced parents having to run around and, and go do all that stuff so i'm getting this out now the battlefield videos that i had planned um, i'm just straight up gonna scrap because the time that has gone on i feel like they've already been covered but we will be getting back into battlefield as more updates come out and hopefully the game gets fixed but for now i would like to stick with this kind of genre of game so if you guys do like world war 3 show this video some love if you like games like that go ahead and subscribe anyways later